Hey guys, Happy Dude here and welcome to part 3 of building my ultimate dream tank in full metal of Kelly's Heroes. Alright guys, it's time to solder the wires to the motor. So first, we cut this off as close as possible to this metal slider. And then we strip the wire. All right. Then we twist it. Now we can put this through this hole. Let me zoom in. Right. Then we make a loop. Then we twist the wire back open. To have a wide spread. And, and like so the wire cannot fall off and we will have a better connection and it's easier to solder we take a thin lead wire first we heat this up a bit a few seconds all right And then we spread the lead. All right. And then we do the same for the second wire. And we're also going to solder the bottom of the wires to this metal connection. Now we have a strong connection that will never come loose again. The next step is to put some isolation tape onto the contact points so we don't short out and also put some on the electric motor itself because they are very close to each other. Alright, as you can see I've isolated the motors and the cables from each other. The isolation plate is also in place. So I searched the internet for the best lubrication for small gears in an RC vehicle. Of course there were a lot of different answers I've also asked it on Facebook in a group, same story, a lot of different opinions. So I did my own research and I found this, it's chain loop for motorbikes. And it's designed not to be as liquid as uh, WD-40 for example but not as sticky as grease so dirt uh, won't stay between the gears now this product uh, works in a very special way first it's uh, very thin and liquid so it can find its way between the gears and all the tiny crooks and crannies but then after a few seconds it's more thick so it remains at its place as you can see now it's fluid but after a few seconds it's a tiny bit sticky 
and it also uh, doesn't splatter around when the gears are moving. You can also feel it at your finger. It is greasy, but not sticky. Now the first time that you test your tank, the gears and the motors are going to be very loud. Uh, that's because it's a very tight fit between the gears. So that is going to make some noise at a high RPM. But after a while, when everything is worn in, um, the gears should be getting quieter. So let me give you an idea how it is. Alright, and now I'm going to put some of the chain loop on. Alright, now listen to the difference. Also, don't forget to lubricate your metal turret ring. Okay, now I'm going to paint this lighter green onto this dirt color because I've tried to paint it onto this darker green and you don't even see it. I'm still learning everything. So, uh, a tip there. If you want to do camouflage, first start with the lighter color and then do the darker colors. Now I don't know if they have used these colors in World War II, um, but I'm not going for realism here. I just uh, really want to make uh, the tiger tank from the movie Kelly's Heroes. All right, it's time to put some color on the tracks, but I'm not going to use my paintbrush, but a normal brush, so it will look like uh, sand and dried out mud. I'm also going to use the color dark earth. Now, I am not um, going to put primer on because if this dark earth color goes off then underneath you will have that gray color from the primer and i don't want that don't forget to like and subscribe guys thanks for watching bye looks pretty realistic